I think he needs to steal this or they, they pretty much lose the game. Oh my god. Mor Morphling? 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 No, no, this is what Yusa wants to be, please! Safe laner. I guess Slark can just kind of get a couple of small items, like a you know, diffuse eggs as fast as possible, and just call it a day. This draft has gone so greedy at the end, though. Oh my word. Just waiting for a good moment, but Medusa is completely full HP. Lion could always TP potentially. Once Void got bottom. Good 7 CS, he's doing okay. Actually, Enchantress is just dead. Alright, Mookie. Give him the free stack, boys. I really thought this Enchantress was going to do a little bit better, but... It was not meant. Enchantress now comes bottom to start putting a little bit of pressure here instead of deciding that we can't really accomplish that much. Top nice two man stun from YC, but Wizard taking too much damage from the Satter Tormentor gets bashed and gets brought down over at mid lane. Looks like they did get the toss back. No, uh, maybe not. Now the toss back. That's good with the auto attacks, and they will finally bring down a few of Angirls. Static position. We got Bounty Rune soon. Dire making a bid for both of these top ones. Nice jump at the toss. Fate's still gonna get it. And YC trying to come over and connect, but Yim is actually going the opposite direction. Ready to get the stun, a bit more damage, scatter blast, one second. Avalanche is there. Scatter blast full damage, and that is gonna be nice little kill with the two newbie supports connecting. What are they gonna do? The duel? Right. I don't think they can get this one on Enchantress. You they use everything. They just barely get the winner. Nice centaur stomp. Okay, that, that's something. They have infinite scaling. Dual damage, permanent agility. This is gone. Manta. Hot. One more jump. One more back. One more kill. Just run Death in. Five seconds to go on the duel. But only one second. Oh, not the best time walk I've ever seen. Duel available soon. Chrono. Chrono on to two. Chrono on to three. YC walks into it. What are you doing, YC? Oh no. Could have ground targeted that stun, I think. Oh boy. EXX. The big brain baits. The turnaround with the time walk. Deska is running at mid. Deusa getting locked down. Stunned up, flying centaur coming through the air, and that is a mega kill streak now for Deska. Oh, uh, I guess the Vengirl is showing what they think of, uh, showing what they think of newbie's early Legion commander pick, showing what they think of the the late pick. Oh, what just happened? To him? Did he just die to the tower? Hello. Seventy-five percent. Oh. That's not bad. Okay. Gotta go fast. A little bit of lockdown on Void. Does that TKP? Turn and fight. Jumping on the <laughs> jumping on the line. Finds a bash. Yims up on the high ground. The two supports. No, don't show me fake time, please. They're diving the fountain. Moogie's hiding in the trees. Pretty decisive rush for them in the, the first game. This is uh, a much less risky rush on this time around, let's face it, but... Quick rush, and then look to uh, close up this game. Immortality. The, the fact that Morphling can just kind of sit here and do this is pretty offensive. Let's see if they can actually punish him for it. Alright, there's Duel, there's Kisses. There's the stone gaze. This is everything in the kitchen sink, and they get it. They don't quite get the dual damage, but at least it's something. All right, Desco will get punished. Go pick up the Mjolnir right now. They got Chrono off cooldown. Oh no, Faith. He jumps. He creates more vision for his ward. The uke? The attempted uke tries to find that little patch, but... Has been I still wouldn't trade places with you. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. 
Uh, where's the bright side? Let's let's find it. Um, Deuce has Manta and 3.3k. Look at this. Deuce is Deuce is number two on net worth. This is all tactical feeding. Oh, this is all space for our boy AQ. Dyer's Just needs a Scotty and then a Divine Rapier, and then this game Dyer's can truly begin. It, when you pick Medusa, the game doesn't actually start until you're defending your high ground. It's a well-known fact. They are not going to get the cool damage this time around either. But plenty of stackos for Slark. Can he get this waveform off? He can't quite do it. He's dead once again. All right, let's get down. Let's get the, the the infinite scaling. Don't look at that dual victory damage number. Oh, blink over, stomp him over here. Yeah, doesn't even need that, but it looks cool. Good positioning from Jayu. Okay, well they, you win some, you lose some. Still a 12k lead. Has the win? The win probability is not going up anymore, friends. We, we have plateaued on the win probability, and this 3% is all the Medusa all day, baby. What, what can they actually do about enchanters? I don't know how much they can accomplish here. Oh, this is this is pretty cute. Helm of the Dominator on the Enchantress. We have a uh, micro god on our hands. Two supports coming in. A little bit of a connection from the Centaur. The main core is not here quite yet to do damage, but the TP will be coming from the Morphling. Faith will be the target. Wizard trying to help him out. Can he do it? Stomp on... No, stomp into the cookie. Now another stomp. Another save. Good kiting. Nice two-man stun. Now here comes the Mortimer's Kisses. Faith raining down damage from the high ground, though uh, Centaur is still pretty tanky. They will bring him down. Avengirls... Getting a little bit sloppy now. They do have this Aegis, but it's only for another minute, and PXX is going to lose his life pretty much immediately. Looks for the Bash on the YC. Can't quite get it. Lashed up by the Slark. Was an inch away from hitting him in the face, but getting restrained. Okay, they lose the Aegis, and that is a one for one. Both offers are dying. Again, pretty good for Newbie. No, really not that bad. And now this Dusa almost has the full Scotty. So he's getting pretty, uh, getting pretty tanky once he picks that up. No defusal or anything for the Void just yet. Morphling, eh, almost has the shotgun, but not quite. He still has this broom handle in his inventory. I got another duel. The Vangirls, are they going to fall for this? They really shouldn't take this fight. 30 seconds to go on the Chronosphere. They've got new items coming up soon. Really no reason to do anything too risky here. Can they get some lockdown? They brought EXX. Immediate jump in duel. All the lockdown in the world, but they have the damage. He might get the BKB off. They're using all of their stuns. It is just enough. Gim almost able to interrupt that. And now Morphling wants to commit without the Void. Does focus down the line pretty much immediately. Morphing into him, but Medusa's pretty strong. Deska needs to find a way out of here. Mookie gets the lock on. We've got the stone gaze going. Waveform is available, but Morphling gonna get stunned up. And now the auto attack along with the fire snap cookie. Heidi in trouble and Newbie finding their feet in this game. This is gonna be a huge swing. Enchantress a bit difficult to kill with the untouchable. Mookie instead just gonna go for the centaur who does TP out. And they will bring down the Enchantress. That is a four for two and it's just the two Newbie supports dying. Of in girls. Okay. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Was that item pick up? Ah, uh, Slark BKB. Yeah. Okay. More play? Out on an island. SK is going to get dueled up here. They've got a lot of lockdown. There is some help coming in the form of the tiny, but is that going to be enough? So many stuns. Morphling can he get out? He's now being hexed. Stampede. Four staff. Finally gets the waveform out. Not a huge commitment, but they did use the 10 second BKB on this Slark, and Morphling not really in fighting shape. They're gonna use the Mortimer's Kisses. Deska morphing the wrong way, almost dies. Forced to swap back, needs to be very careful. Enchantress walks forward, now dying to the Medusa. Where is Void this entire time? Void has just taken a trip to the secret shop. He's rummaging around in his backpack. He's dropping items on the ground. He just... <laughs> can't get over to the fight. Radiance Finally packs everything up, assembles his item, and uh, starts Radiance walking towards the fight, but... Radiant if Newbie get Roche, is that, is that not just kind of game? Oh my god, double damage! Ice Frog, game it! Please! <laughs> is, that, is that it? Is this how this game goes? Just... Faith defending, high ground by himself. 
pings on the Roche from the Centaur, but this is just too fast. Rapier, double damage, Centaur needs to steal this. I think he needs to steal this or they, they pretty much lose the game. Oh my god. Centaur, hello. Alright, spider legs, spider legs. More, more fling? More fling? More fling? Uh, no, this is what Yusa wants to be, please! The stone gaze, it rocks! It gets one kill, he's looking for the second, that's a double for AQ! Tiny, what have you done? Floyd, why are you fighting? What are you doing? You already used your BKB, what is this chrono? Aving girls, this is like... They played so well for the first Radiant 15 minutes! What happened? I, I hate to seem like I'm flaming, but I'm just- I don't understand this game. Radiance I have tower been watching attack. and casting and playing Dota for like more than 10 years, and I just don't understand what I'm seeing. Radiance middle tower has fallen. AQ just- Radiance he's gonna queue up another rapier. Right Alright. Alright, AQ. You're the boss. Buyback from the Morphling. Who they tossed it? It's just the Legion Commander. Why is that the toss target? Oh, okay, Void's dying on the other side of the map. Okay, Ooh, he's been completely drained out. Is why is- why are Void and Morphling never in the same place at the same time? Could they be the same person? Maybe that's the conspiracy here. Have, have you ever seen Void and Morphling at the same time? Are you sure that they're two different people? Because... I haven't. I don't think I've seen the two of them on the same screen this entire game. So now, now Morphling's got no buyback and like no net worth. He's been overtaken by Mookie. Now you get locked down. The game is going to be the actual target. Infinite scaling. Okay, well, no, not quite. Lion's dead. So too shall Yim die, perhaps. Plus one. Oh, that looks weird. Okay. I'll give it to AQ instead. Ooh, blink away! Yim's gonna get it. Alright, Mortimer's Kiss is coming through. Again, a Van Girl just taking this really weird fight without their main carry. Yim trying to do something. Morphling's hitting creeps. Jump forward. It's gonna take Dusa a little while to get this kill, but not that long. I hardly had to unhinge my jaw. Hmm. I don't know, what happened? Morphling is going for a Daedalus. Still just... What the heck? It's just letting Lion just... He doesn't even have any health! Hello? Morphling? <laughs> Lion doesn't have Blink. Lion just has a bunch of cast range and he just walked at him. He didn't even glimmer cape or smoke up, he just walked at him while his Lincoln Sphere was on cooldown, and Morphling was like, I guess I'll die. Somebody please link me the picture of just the guy in, I think it's a red shirt, and he's just kind of doing the, like, shrug, <laughs> the shrug, like, ASCII, and just, guess I'll die. Right. Cool. Are they gonna get the damage this time? Oh, they will. Okay, nice. Infinite scaling. Yim is in the back lines. Void is hitting creeps. Centaur is going in. What's Void looking right. Didn't press BKB. He was just hoping that he would bash, I guess. Alright, he's being led on a merry chase. Oh, this time I was helping. Now, newbie. On the way. Nice blink. What's that from cool down though? Off the way. Oh, Blizzard's got that instead. Alright. Chrono on to two, but it's just the two supports, and Dusa is tearing Void apart with double rapier from outside of the Chrono. Dusa moving into position. Or maybe maybe Jaws theme is more appropriate, but. Regardless, Dusa 
slowly tank mode down through the bottom lane, sight set on another lane of rack. Weird stuff is happening over here, but you, you need to know about this. Oh, yeah, right. got it. Chronosphere, still 20 seconds to go. Apex really hates this line. He's gonna bring him down. Your base is in some turmoil, though. Actually, maybe the maybe I need Penny. Oh, appropriate at this point. Faith. Okay, he will be brought down. Home in trouble, however. Dusa has now taken over the Radiant base. All your base are belong to us. Enchantress says she's trying. She's putting up the best fight that she can. But here comes the attack speed. Oh, one more. Yep, oh, yep. Force stab not gonna help you there. All right, two buybacks. Does Dusa still own this base? I believe the answer is yes. They do need the lockdown from the line at the very least to do anything here, or duel to come back up, duel down. So pretty wise of newbie to back out. Chrono is available. A correctly executed Chrono on this Medusa could get both rapiers, and then the glorious counter counter throw will be truly realized. But per perhaps that is just the pipe dream. A third rapier, perhaps? The void? That'll help against the lockdown at least a little bit. I just, I don't think they have enough damage at this point. Dusa also has Satanic. It's a backpack Satanic, granted, but probably come in pretty quickly. And Dusa is on your high ground, and Dusa's only going to take a few auto attacks to take your building. Toss back. Can they get her all the way into the fountain? That is the question. This toss is actually a great positioning duel. For the Medusa, right where she wants to be, they get the lockdown on the Void, and that's beyond godlike. No buyback for this Void, and that is game over. Radiance middle tower has fallen. Radiance ancient is I present to you the win probability graph, with no comment. Imagine whatever you want. Radiance ancient is under attack. Kill. Die.